Hey, what's good guys? Today I'm talking to you about which guitar chords sound good together. <clears throat> I actually did this video yesterday, but I did a terrible job. So uh, today I'm going to redo it, make sure everything is clear. Um, right away, I'm, gonna, I'm actually just going to show you the chords that I laid out for you today. Um, some of them are taken from, you know, other parts of the internet. Some of them I came up on my own. Some of them are classic progressions that have been around for a long time. Um, there's about 37 of them. So I'm going to go through each one and show you how to play each progression. They're usually the most common. Um, there's actually more progressions out there too. Maybe I'll, I might actually update the article and throw out a few more ones in there. Um, but anyway, after I play all these chords for you, I'm actually going to just talk about the major scale and the minor scale as well because it's useful to know. I'm also going to tell you some useful things that you should you know, perhaps consider learning. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it. Um, you know... The, you know, when asked the question, which guitar chords sound good together, I mean, that's a simple question, but it has a lot of answers because obviously there's a lot of things that you can say. Um, however, I would say that, you know, in terms of the most important things that you should learn are the major and minor scale, as well as intervalic relationships, such as minor, perfect, major, augmented, diminished, as well as octaves. And it's also useful to know, uh, you know, uh, the dominant seventh chords and, you know, half diminished chords. Um, also, many chord progressions are theoretically incorrect, but they sound good. But we'll talk about that later. So let's just get into these chord progressions right now. So I'm going to play each one in numerical order, and you'll just get a feel for what they sound like. I'm not actually plugged in, but you should be able to hear everything. Anyway, so here's the first one. That's a really common one, probably the most common one ever. <laughs> anyway, this is more of a 50s progression. Um, it sounds like this. You can kind of see it has that 50s style to it, even though I'm not playing it in the same rhythm that it would normally be in but it definitely has that 50s, 1950s kind of surf rock thing going on. Anyway, here's number three. And then here's number four, C sharp minor. Here's number five, F sharp minor. And then here's Andalusian cadence. Um, you probably heard that before. Here's number seven, um, E major. Here's what's called a backdoor progression. Actually, I played that wrong the first way. It's this way, D minor, D flat seven, C major. And then here's uh, D, A, B, G, number nine. And here's a, it's called a chromatic descending. A lot of these are not, I'm not playing them the way they're theoretically supposed to be, but um, they still gives you an idea of what they should sound like. Um, so,
Here's number 11. Here's a uh, circle progression. It's an A minor six. Um, and then here's uh, D major, number thirteen. And then here's uh, C major, or sorry, excuse me, A bar blues. Obviously, that's not actually how you play the 8-bar blues, but those are the chords. That's a really common uh, progression. It's just like a bunch of dominant 7th chords. And then here's number uh, 15, CGFA, A minor, excuse me. Here's number 16, GCD, E minor. Here's number 17. Here's number 18. Here's number 19. Here's uh, number 20. And then here's a, a jazz progression, 2-5-1. It's extremely common. It's not really played like that, though. That's more what it sounds like. Um, I'm going to skip this one because that's drop D. And uh, A, D, E, number 23. And then uh, here's D, C, E, G, number 24. And here's number 25. And then uh, here's number 26. And then uh, here's number 27. Uh, it's actually wrong. Let's try that again. There we go, number 28. 
Uh, here's number 29. Here's number 30. Number 31. That can be in drop D as well. Uh, A sus 2. 